estamos grabando. Nos vamos que te voy a subir acá. Yo, I recently produced a series of videos promoting an artist celebrating 35 years of artistic career. The task was to film a multi-angle interview where she talked about some of the milestones in her career while also promoting her upcoming show. I was thrilled about this opportunity because I've been a fan of her music for many years and to have now the opportunity to create this content for her was very exciting. The link to her music and band can be found in the description below. All of the lighting fixtures in this shoot are from Zhu and Tech, who have in the past sent me lights to review, but they don't even know that I'm making this video, meaning I genuinely use these lights for my paid work, aside from any collabs I have with the brand. The main light on this video is the Molus G300. Let's see what you get inside the box. The G300 comes in a large carrying box with foam inserts for you to store and transport it, though I wish they'd offer an actual carrying case for it. Inside, you get a dome reflector, a separate controller box that comes with a very, very long cable that's over 20 feet long, allowing you to set your light up high while still being able to make adjustments as needed from where you're standing. And lastly in the box is the light itself. It features a square design intended to make it compact and easy to pack and carry with you for any and all shoots. Okay, back to the shoot. For this shoot, we were given access to this beautiful showroom, but I had to work very quickly here due to a client walkthrough that they had scheduled. My key light was the Molus G300, a bicolor light ranging from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. This light packs a punch with an output of up to 500 watts in max extreme mode. Here, we had it at 3600K with an intensity of 65. I paired the light with the dome diffuser to create a large soft source with a grid to prevent light spill, and I placed it at 45 degrees for my subject. Again, the great thing about having a separate controller box is that I can modify my settings as needed despite having the light up high on a stand. On the opposite side, I have Modus X100 light with the mini dome reflector serving as my hair light, giving a nice edge to our subject, but also the chair that she's sitting on. I always pair this light with this battery grip from CG Cine, which allows me to set up my light anywhere without having to run cables everywhere. The beauty of this combo isn't only the compact size, but it's also extremely lightweight. While we're here, I'll mention the mic that I'm using, the VM30 by Comica, a wireless shotgun mic that captures high quality audio. I love this thing so much. Again, another case where I don't have to run cables everywhere. Jumping to this side again, filling in some of the background decor is the CM25. This little thing does wonders. Here you can see how much it's helping make the flowers pop. Without it, my background was looking a bit too dark for my liking. On this close-up shot, our subject has these out of focus string lights so I wanted to complement the alternate wider shot with the flowers and lighting them up was essential to achieving the desired look. I'm shooting all of this on a Sony a7 III paired with my 5.5 inch monitor from Andy Cine. If you're still shooting without a monitor, do yourself a favor and invest in one ASAP. It changes everything. Both the camera and monitor are being powered by this V-mount battery by Indie Pro. This is my favorite gadget. It makes me feel <laughs> invincible. Using this USB-C cable, I can swap between my monitor and camera, depending on which device needs power, and I never have to worry about running out of battery. I have the V-mount on a swivel, so I can place it wherever I prefer. And lastly, here's the receiver for my wireless mic, which also charges via USB-C, so if I needed to, I could charge while using with that same USB-C cable. Seriously, I love the setup. Since I only had one camera on site, I filmed the different interview questions from three different angles, and I made sure that the talent was facing my assistant at all times. This assistant, of course, stood in the same place all along. When framing my shots, I made sure to line her up on the intersections of my grid, and when possible, I filmed on the shadow side to have a more appealing and contrasty look, or as others would say, cinematic. Apart from this interview, we also filmed some other short form videos in other areas of the showroom, and I also used the G300 there. The results were fantastic. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions on how to improve my setup or workflow, 
please let me know in the comments below. Also consider subscribing to this channel to help me grow. And if you're interested in anything content creation related, video, photo, editing, podcasting, you name it, hit me up on Instagram, send me a message and I'll follow back and we can continue the conversation there. Lo que amo y que sigo luchando por seguirlo haciendo y seguírselo entregando a ustedes. Hay muchos momentos hermosos. Los espero.